speaker is uh, Cheng Yu Zhu, and he will talk on the investigation on the overall energy performance of a no novel vacuum semi-transparent photovoltaic glazing in cold regions of China. Please. Everyone, it's my honor to give this presentation about my uh, recent uh, research. Uh, I'm a PhD student from Hong Kong Polytechnic uh, uh, University. Uh, today, my research topic is uh, investigation on the overall energy performance of a novel vacuum uh, semi transparent uh, photovoltaic glazing in cold region of uh, China. Uh, first, uh, let me uh, introduce. Uh, let me introduce the background of the research. As we all know that the building sector uh, considered the, one of the biggest uh, consumer uh, in terms of uh, energy cons uh, consumption. And uh, the uh, window, or the very common used in high-rise building, uh, the glazing facade is uh, uh, the weakest uh, link uh, uh, in terms of the uh, thermal barrier of the building envelope. So, how can we do about? Uh, how can we achieve uh, energy efficiency building when we want to use some advanced uh, fenestration product? Uh, the BIPV system can be uh, an alternative uh, building envelope uh, element to replace traditional building material, and uh, also it can generate uh, renewable energy. And also, the BIP, when we use uh, BIPV as a window, uh, such as the semi-transparent photovoltaic window as part of a building envelope, uh, it can admit a proportion of daylight into indoor environment. Uh, and another thing about the uh, uh, semi-transparent photovoltaic window is that the thermal performance of the aspect uh, it of that kind of window, it, ha it has a very low uh, solar heat gain, uh, solar uh, solar heat gain coefficient. Uh, uh, in that way, th uh, this kind of window can uh, re uh, can control the solar heat gain uh, to uh, achieve the energy saving, especially in summer when the cooling is required. But uh, is that the PV uh, BIPV system can uh, provide the ult ultimate uh, solution for the uh, our ask uh, for what our ask the advanced fenestration product to achieve uh, energy saving uh, building. Uh, I, I want to introduce another uh, advanced fenestration product, which is the vacuum glazing. The vacuum glazing uh, is a two uh, uh, two glass sheet uh, which. Uh, contain two glass sheets with a very narrow, narrow, uh, very narrow vacuum gap. It can uh, minimize the heat, uh, heat conduction and the heat can convection through the glazing. O only the heat radiation uh, can be obtained uh, by the uh, vacuum glazing. In that way, the vacuum glazing can show a very, very good, uh, almost the best thermal performance in terms of. Uh, the thermal insulation. So uh, the thermal, thermal performance of the vacuum glazing is, uh, is uh, oh, it, it, it has a very low U value of the vacuum glazing. And uh, as I mentioned that the PV glazing is, has a very low uh, so solar heat gain coefficient. And uh, so how about to apply this uh, kind of technology in the cold region of China? As we can see, the China has a very, a very large uh, area that has uh, several different uh, climate religions, and uh, one of the uh, religion on the uh, in the uh, uh, northeast is the uh, it, it has a very very cold extreme uh, weather uh, condition. Uh, it is uh, called the uh, cold, cold uh, region. And for the window system, when we consider the thermal performance of the window system, they have the two types of window system. One is the has the low 
heat gain loss window, and, and another one is the solar heat gain control uh, window. So the PV glazing considered as the solar heat control window, and the vacuum glazing can consider as a low heat gain uh, window. So uh, here we are. So here we are, the vacuum PV glazing. The concept of the vacuum PV glazing is combine the vacuum glazing and the PV glazing, which uh, will have the uh, excellent uh, thermal insulation performance of the vacuum glazing, also the solar heat controllability of the PV glazing. And uh, uh, also the PV glazing can generate uh, renewable uh, energy uh, from the sun, uh, uh, solar radiation. So here we propose the vacuum PV glazing. Actually, actually the uh, fabrication of the vacuum glazing is uh, quite a challenge. Uh, we, uh, in the formal research, we proposed the vacuum glazing with, uh, uh, which just uh, uh, combined the PV glazing with two glass, uh, uh, two, two glass panel structure and the vacuum glazing also with two glass structure together. So there, the, there has a two, uh, four glass uh, in in one uh, th those kind of integral uh, uh, glass unit, but right now we have uh, successfully uh, to use the vacuum glazing as the uh, panel uh, of the of the PV glazing. So therefore, it's only three pan glass panel in the vacuum PV glazing, and uh, to fully end uh, in this research, we try to fully understand the strength and uh, the limitation of the vacuum PV glazing in terms of, in terms of energy performance when we apply this uh, product in cold region of China. So we propose the vacuum PV glazing here, which the, uh, the PV part is face, out, face to outdoor and the vacuum part is towards to uh, indoor. And uh, we also uh, propose the uh, reverse the vacuum PV glazing uh, which reverse reverse it, and uh, the outdoor side is the uh, vacuum glazing, and the indoor side is the PV glazing. Uh, although th uh, those two configuration is uh, combine vacuum glazing and PV glazing, but it it, it should be uh, performed very differently uh, in terms of uh, thermal performance and uh, energy performance as well. And uh, here is the structure of the vacuum PV glazing. Uh, we have uh, manufactured this sample, uh, and uh, in this sample, the outside layer is the semi-transparent uh, cadmium telluride uh, photovoltaic with the transparency of uh, certain transparent. And uh, the inside layer is the vacuum glazing with low E coating. Uh, the low E coating emergency is uh, point, uh, 0 0.042. Uh, the low E coating of the vacuum glazing also can uh, reduce the solar heat gain uh, uh, from outside. And, uh, and uh, 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 we can see it's only three layer of the uh, glass in this kind of product. And uh, we have uh, uh, obtained the elect elect electrical characteristic under uh, standard test condition. Uh, the model efficiency of the uh, uh, so PV solar cell uh, is is 6.7%. Per, uh, and uh, we choose the Harbin represent the silver coat region of China. Uh, the Harbin has the, uh, the, the summer in Harbin is not, not, not very hot. The average temperature is around uh, 21 Celsius degree, but the winter is uh, very, very cold. Uh, the, the average temperature of the winter in Harbin can, uh, is uh, negative uh, 16.5 uh, Celsius degree. And uh, we can see uh, this picture shows the dry bulb temperature uh, hourly throughout the whole year of the Harbin, and uh, this picture also shows the uh, solar radiation uh, of the harbing. Uh, and uh, we can see the lowest temperature can be uh, as low as uh, nearly negative 13 uh, Celsius degree. And uh, for, for this research, 
we first uh, we obtain the uh, we basically we use uh, Ng plus to run the building energy simulation, and uh, before we uh, build up the Ng plus uh, mo uh, simulation model, uh, we obtain the optical characteristic uh, by uh, measurement and uh, input uh, that into window and uh, generate the physical characterized uh, files and uh, input uh, that file to uh, Ng plus when the uh, a certain uh, parameter of the wind, uh, uh, vacuum PV glazing and also the PV module uh, have been set up in uh, uh, NG plus. Uh, the, in the inside NG plus, the thermal balance model can calculate the electricity consumption from uh, air con conditioning. Uh, and also the daylighting uh, model can calculate uh, the artificial lighting consumption. And the power generation uh, model can give us the result of the energy generation performance. Uh, and uh, combine the energy consumption and the energy generation result, we have the overall energy performance uh, of uh, vacuum, our, our vacuum PV glazing and our reverse vacuum PV glazing as well. Uh, and uh, we build up this uh, simulation model in Energy Plus. Uh, it is uh, just a typical small office with a very large, uh, with a large window, single large window. The, window to wall ratio is uh, uh, 30, uh, uh, 65 per percent. And uh, only one uh, surface is towards the outside. The other surface is considered uh, uh, towards inside. And uh, here's the uh, property of the glazing. Uh, in this study, according to the national standard of China, uh, we choose the double, pan double panel window uh, as the baseline to compare, uh, to show uh, the energy saving uh, potential of uh, vacuum PV glazing. And uh, we, we also simulate the performance of the vacuum glazing and the uh, double PV glazing to uh, try to uh, indicate uh, the uh, effect of vacuum glazing and the PV glazing separately. Uh, and as we can see, the vacuum PV glazing and the vacuum PV glazing has the almost the lowest uh, uh, U value and also the uh, solar heating co coefficient. And uh, here is our finding. Uh, uh, this picture shows the optical uh, characteristic uh, of the vacuum PV glazing. Uh, and uh, the average, uh, and uh, uh, the red line is the uh, absorption of the vacuum PV glazing. As we can see, it is, a, it is a nearly 18%. The average uh, absorption is 79.6% uh, uh, percentage. Uh, and uh, the uh, visible transmittance uh, is around uh, uh, 20%. And in the visible range, the highest transmittance is around uh, 600 uh, nanometer. And uh, for the uh, thermal performance, uh, as we can see in this picture, we run the simulation uh, by, by five different uh, orientation, east, southeast, south, uh, southwest, and the west. And, uh, uh, the blue line is the baseline, uh, re represent uh, by double panel low E uh, glass. And uh, uh, as, we, as we can see that for, for the cooling part, the left part is the cooling part, the vacuum PV glazing can, uh, has the best performance uh, in cooling season, which is in, in summer. The energy saving for cooling for, uh, for vacuum PV glazing is uh, 34 percent percentage to 75 percentage. Uh, but the vacuum glazing and the reverse vacuum PV glazing has the, some negative effect uh, in terms of cooling. Uh, as we can see, the uh, reverse vacuum PV glazing uh, will uh, require more cooling uh, consumption than uh, our baseline. But, but uh, when we talk about the energy saving for heating, the vac uh, reversed vacuum PV glazing has the best performance 
it can save uh, from from all the orientation, you can save uh, five, 51 percentage to uh, to 59 percent, and uh, also the vacuum glazing is uh, very good uh, for the uh, heating uh, heating season. But the double PV glazing is not not that good uh, for uh, in in harbing. When we talk about uh, when we talk about the the heating, it it required more heat uh, more heat cons uh, it re it required more uh, more heat energy because the PV part will block the uh, will the PV part of the double double PV glazing will uh, block the sun uh, solar radiation in winter and also the uh, and also uh, in, in, in that way, the uh, double PV glazing is not suitable uh, in, in, harbing, uh, in, in harbing in cold region of China. And uh, why the, the PV glazing and the P, uh, reverse, uh, reverse uh, vacuum PV glazing uh, act so different uh, in terms of uh, the cooling and the heating, in cooling season and the heating season? Uh, we found that from April to uh, from April to October, which is the cooling season, the vacuum glazing consumes less uh, energy uh, than reverse uh, vacuum uh, PV glazing. But from uh, November to March, which is the heating season, the reverse uh, vacuum PV glazing can save more energy. Uh, that is that is because uh, in cooling season the uh, as I mentioned before, the vacuum glazing, the inside layer is the uh, vacuum PV glazing, the inside layer is a vacuum glazing, so that it can block the solar radiation obtained by the PV glazing. But in winter, the, the solar radi the heat absor uh, absorption by, uh, uh, by PV glazing can be a benefit for, for heating. Uh, in that way, the uh, vacuum glazing phase two inside has uh, some negative effect for heating. Therefore, the uh, reverse vacuum PV glazing has the better performance than vacuum PV glazing in winter. And here is the overall energy performance. Uh, the the heating uh, in each co column, the bottom one. Uh, is cooling. The upper, uh, the upper one is heating, and the and the, at the top one is uh, represent the lighting consumption. And uh, there also has uh, we we also has the power. Oh, sorry. O okay. So uh, I I just want to mention that the reverse the P uh, vacuum PV glazing has the best performance, uh, which can uh, provide the energy saving. Uh, potential by 37 percent to uh, 50, 54 uh, per percent. And uh, so here's the conclusion. Uh, we know that the vacuum glazing can be beneficial uh, for cooling and uh, the PV glazing can be, be beneficial for, for the uh, he uh, heating. But, uh, but also the, the, it has some limitation because the vacuum glazing may be uh, not that good uh, in uh, for uh, for the uh, summer and uh, uh, PV glazing maybe not that good for the winter. But combine the vacuum glazing and the PV glazing together, uh, we we all, we the overall energy performance uh, is also very very uh, can can be a, a very good performance uh, here in winter uh, religion of China. Thank you. Because uh, right now it's just the simulation model in 
uh, by uh, some professional simulation uh, tools uh, like Antiplus. Thank you.